Perrysburg schools, one of eight districts in our area asking voters for money next week. It's looking to build a new school and add more classrooms to existing buildings with a bond issue of $140 million over 36 years. Kaylee Kirby talked with the superintendent about what's at stake. It's a story you've heard before. Perrysburg is growing, and if the new businesses and houses aren't proof, Look at this. Data from the U.S. Census shows an increase of nearly 4,500 people moving in between April of 2010 and April 2020. The number of students at Perrysburg schools are outpacing the number of seats. It is happening at every grade level and in every building and every year. Superintendent Tom Hostler says some of the district's buildings are already past capacity, so the district is turning to voters for help to alleviate what Hostler calls its two pressure points, the high school and the elementary schools. We have portables, trailers that we're using to, to house students. Uh, the lunchrooms aren't built for that capacity. The hallways aren't built for the capacity. And, um, and so our elementaries are overcrowded. The $140 million bond issue would create a new elementary school and add classrooms in other buildings if it passes. We reached out to multiple people who were against the levy, but they didn't want to go on camera. They do say their concern is because of the increase in Wood County's property taxes, which would also increase what they pay to the district. But Hostler says that's the cost of being a destination district, meaning people move to Perrysburg for a number of reasons, including the schools. We know that families want to be here. We know that we have great staff that does a tremendous job with our students. And, and I think that has contributed significantly to the demand. To his point, Perrysburg consistently gets high marks from the state when it comes to student performance. And as the city and district grows, Hostler says the desirability has never been higher. Reporting in Perrysburg, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11. It is estimated the owner of a home valued at $250,000 would be paying more than $500 a year if it passes.